Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer, if you're new here. Oh my gosh, my dark circles are like a whole story today. Oh my gosh, like, wow, okay. Anywho, um, welcome back. If you are new here, again, my name is Jennifer. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're not new here, thank you for returning. And yeah, let's let's get to know each other. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and yeah, let's just let's hop right in. <sighs> Guys, I've been wanting to film this video for so so long. This stuff has been sitting out on my desk but I have been so fearful of how it's going to turn out like it could honestly it could honestly turn out to like look like shit like shit I I don't know or it could be it could be fine I I really don't know so today from the title of the video you can tell half of my face is going to be high end and the other half is going to be drugstore which I love drugstore makeup I think drugstore makeup has come so far along you can find amazing amazing stuff at the drugstore I tried to pick things that um, had a similar finish so like hydrating concealers on both ends foundations that maybe would have a similar finish without further ado Let's just hop in and make a potential disaster at my face. I think we'll do, um, let's do this side of my face high end, this side of my face drugstore, not that it really makes a difference. I don't know, I kind of need equal amounts of coverage on both side of my face both sides of my face. Am I saying that correctly? God, Jennifer, learn how to talk. Um, so on the high-end side for foundation, we're gonna go in with MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This has always been in my collection since the beginning of time. It's about a medium coverage. And I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. I'm also gonna try to remember like to keep one side of the beauty blender for the high end side and one side for the drugstore side if I can remember to do that. Thumbs up this video if your baby hairs get in the way. So that is the MAC side. Now we're gonna go in with the ColourPop side. I chose these two foundations because they're both kind of similar, as in they're not dewy, they're not super matte. They offer the same as like a medium coverage. Neither one of them are too full coverage. Um, you can see like some of my hyperpigmentation is still um, peeking through. And uh, that's why I chose these. The color pop has a little bit better coverage maybe that could be to just applied a little bit more I don't know on the drugstore side 
I'm going in with my absolute favorite, like maybe even my favorite concealer right now, um, which is the e.l.f. Hydro Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I'm in shade Light Peach. Um, I don't think I said the shade I'm in for the ColourPop. I'm in medium 100. I am pretty tan right now just from it being summertime, me being out in the sun. So all of these shades maybe could stand to be a little bit darker right now for me, but you know, whatevs. They're gonna have to do. drugstore and then for the high-end side I'm going in with my all-time favorite high-end which is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer and I'm in the shade Macaroon. I'm almost out of this. I'm gonna need to repurchase it. These are actually, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but the Jouer has a much more like peachy, um, salmon-y undertone, which is great for brightening. I'm just wondering how that's gonna be um, compared to the e.l.f. For the high-end side, we're going to set and bake with the Hourglass Veil Powder, which has been a favorite for, of mine for gosh, like I don't even, since it's come out, really. Um, and then this is gonna be my first time using this, so this is also a first impression of the e.l.f. Halo setting powder. Um, a lot of people have been raving about this, and I got this shade medium. Okay, that's it for the powders. I think they're very similar as far as finish, even though the Hourglass is translucent and the e.l.f. has a color to it. Oh, now I'm going to go off camera really quickly and do my brows because I don't really have anything comparable to compare. So the brows came out really dramatic. It's just where we're at, people. I don't, I don't know what happened. Um, anyway, we're gonna move on to bronzer. I think we're just gonna finish up the complexion and then we'll move on to eyes and we'll do lips last. Um, so for high-end bronzer, we're gonna do the Marc Jacobs. I think these two match pretty well. The low-end bronzer is the Sephora bronze. I talked about this in my last video and um, I'm just lightly contour. This is going to be so difficult. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's just do it and get it over with. Right. Okay, so now Marc Jacobs on this side. I mean, honestly, like, I feel like you can't tell a difference. In person, like looking in the camera, I don't know if you can tell a difference. 
You guys are gonna have to tell me. Can you see a difference in the camera? Did I already bronze this side? See, now I can't remember. I'm just gonna have to bronze it again. So we're gonna go in with the Sephora one and do this side. Okay. Little lines it goes. Okay, now the Marc Jacobs one. I feel like you can kind of see the difference when they're that close together. All right, so I'm gonna try to get two similar colors. So these are in the same color family and they both have a very like sparkly finish. Like these are very sparkly blushes. So this is the Gold Rush by Benefit. It looks like that. And then this is the Color Icon Blush in Nudist Society by Wet n Wild. This one is a little bit more maybe gold undertone, but they're definitely in the same family and they definitely are both very sparkly. So first I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild. You almost don't need highlight with either one of these blushes. We're gonna be extra and do highlight today. Not almost, you definitely don't need highlight with either one of these blushes. They're both beautiful, like this Wet n Wild one is stunning. And I think this blush was $3 at Walmart. When the lady rang it up, I was like, are you sure? $3? Think you're positive? Okay, I'm gonna use the other side of my blush brush just so we don't get the colors mixed up. I just don't like the way this one smells. Like this Benefit blush is heavily scented. Without a doubt, I'm digging the Wet n Wild one more. It does not have the scent and the pigmentation is there a lot more. Okay, so for drugstore highlight, we're gonna go in with the, I mean, I wish you guys, well maybe I can like tip them over and show you. Whew, this one. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Shimmerista. This is the NARS, what is this called? Orgasm Illuminating Loose Powder, like, do you guys see how those are almost exactly alike? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid on that NARS one. Okay, so we're gonna do the L'Oreal first. With either one of these, make sure you do very little at a time very little at a time. I don't think I'm gonna be able to highlight my nose. I just thought of that. <laughs> one on the bridge and then we'll do the L'Oreal one right there on the little tip of the nose. I chose these. They're gonna look very different but they have very similar tones. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna be doing a very simple look just for the sake of it not turning into a disaster. Um, I took California Love by ColourPop, probably one of my all-time favorite um, palettes from ColourPop, and then I took the Natasha Denona 
mini nude palette and I chose them because as you can see they do have some very similar palettes like the deep brown those two shades right there which is probably going to be what goes in my crease so I'm going to start off by putting um the bay which is oops that I'm not flipping you guys off I promise that color right there and this color into my crease so we're going to do the Natasha Denona side first into my crease with just a fluffy blending brush. I am taking this pretty high um, towards my brow bone because I do want it to peek through the other color. We're gonna do that shade called the Bay from ColourPop. And we're just gonna do the same thing, just blend it and bring it um, high to the brow bone and out, um, flick it outward as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take like a little, uh, I don't know, like a little brush like that and do the same shades under my eyes um, for each eye. What I'm actually seeing is that the ColourPop shade is quite more pigmented. So this just goes to show you like if you're just starting out in makeup and you're not wanting to spend a lot of money, you can really get started and build up your kit and not spend a lot of money. Like you don't need high-end products to get started. A lot of these things that I've been using like the Wet n Wild blush, the ColourPop eyeshadows, the e.l.f. concealer, they've actually been outperforming the higher end. So just a little side note, like if you're just getting started in makeup, you don't need to spend a lot of money. This is so hard to show you guys. These two shades, they're the most comparable and I'm just gonna put those all over my lid. So I'm again gonna start with the Natasha Denona and I'm just gonna use my finger because I'm feeling like that's what's gonna work best. It's a really beautiful shade. That is gorgeous. I'm wondering if the ColourPop one's gonna be able to beat that. Color pop one. Not quite as creamy. Like the Natasha Denona one was a lot more creamy. But those are both absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I will say that Natasha Denona just performed better. It was super creamy, blended like a dream, and there was really no fallout. Whereas with the um, ColourPop one, I did get some fallout. I mean, I just was able to brush it away, but um, there was some fallout there. Now, as far as the inner corner highlight, I had to go in with this middle shade in the Natasha Denona and see if that works for an inner corner highlight. Um, it's not my favorite, but it'll work. It will definitely work. I'm gonna put a touch of that on the brow bone. 
flexitarian. That looks almost, almost identical. Okay, so now I'm gonna line a little bit of the, like probably from the middle of my eye outward um, with the darkest kind of plum shades in each palette, um, just to add a little depth to the eyes. time for mascara I'm gonna do the falsies lash lift on the drugstore side <laughs> forgetting which is which and the Lancome Monster big on the high-end side okay guys so that's the mascara I'm not gonna do lashes because I honestly don't have anything fair to compare I also don't have setting spray to compare okay so my high ends are it's just Whatever, whatever. So I think the only thing left that we have is, is lips, is that it? Do Mac Oak. These don't match that well, but I'm gonna try to cover them up with the lipstick anyway. sweet tea those came out really different really different okay so drugstore side is going to be Sephora in number one made in Italy They have no idea if these are gonna match. I did not swatch these, so I guess this is as good as mine. This is the Fenty Lip Stunna Lip Paint in Unbutton. Dear God, please let these match. Please, Lord. I don't know it's not bad I'm not I'm not swatching them prior it's definitely not bad I think what what effed us up was that morphe lip liner it's not mixing the colors together we're just gonna go in with a little clear gloss on top and I do this with my clear gloss because I cannot stand when colors get into my clear gloss, that like pisses me off. I can't really, I can't really tell a difference in the complexion besides like the color pop foundation having better coverage but like I said that could have just been because I applied more of it the eyeshadows I feel are dead on like I don't think I could have asked for a better match let me know what you guys think do you guys think this was a fail do you guys think we nailed it I'm pretty happy with the results I I like the way it came out I think the complexion looks pretty even on both sides. I definitely feel like the Wet n Wild blush was the winner. Uh, I feel 
like the the powders I feel are even like I think they both have the same finish like I said even though this one has color I definitely feel like they have the same finish I feel like I enjoy the ColourPop foundation more than the MAC which is shocking because the MAC has been in my collection I've been buying that foundation forever um, as far as the highlights go I hate to say it because this is so expensive. This is just ungodly expensive. But I got to give it to the NARS. This packs a punch like no other. I mean, it's it's a beaming highlight. So I actually have to blend it out with my beauty blender because it's too beaming for my taste. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that this packs, packs a serious punch. Uh, the lipsticks are both equally beautiful. Uh, I don't know if I can pick one over the other because I honestly love both of them. Mascaras, I mean, Monsoor Big is gonna be my favorite mascara maybe until the end of the time. So, end of the time. End of time. Hello, go to sleep, Jennifer. Um, oh, concealers. I mean, e.l.f. right now is just my favorite. I think that's every, oh, bronzer. Um, I don't know if I have, I don't know if I can choose a bronzer. I mean, they're both stunning. Um, I think it's just a personal preference. One is more cool toned and one is more warm toned. So I think it's just a personal preference based on your skin tone and what you think looks better on you. I don't really know if I can choose one. So yeah, that's where I'm at. And that's pretty much all she wrote, folks. So that's all for me, guys. Uh, I am going to clean up this mess and clean all this makeup off of me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It is so, so appreciated. Uh, comment down below your thoughts on this video, what side you like better, if any, if you think they look exactly the same, which is kind of where I'm at right now. Um, and yeah, you guys are beautiful inside and out. I hope you have an amazing day and do something um, to raise awareness about animal abuse and neglect. Um, it's just something that is always weighing so, so heavy on my heart, um, as is so many things right now at this time. So, yeah, I love you guys.